From Sea to Shining Sea by Barbara Bigelow. What is a natural resource? Natural resources are useful materials that come from the earth. They are changed into things that we use every single day. The toothpaste you use to brush your teeth contains sand. Sand is a natural resource. The paper this book was printed on came from a tree. Our forests are natural resources. The gasoline that powers a car or bus you ride starting out as oil. Oil is a natural resource formed underground. The steel used to make cars started out as iron, another natural resource. Even if you walk to school or rode your bike today, you use natural resources. Tires in the soles of your shoes are made of rubber that comes from tree sap or the ground. The five regions of the United States are shown on this map. Notice how each region's name matches its placement on the map. From sea to shining sea. The words from sea to shining sea are from the song America is the Beautiful. The United States is the fourth largest country in the world. To get from one end of the country to the other, you would have to travel about 3,000 miles. If you did not make any stops along the way, it would still take at least two whole days and two whole nights to drive that far. The United States is divided into five dif different regions. A region is a large land area that has special features. The five regions of the United States have very different physical environments. You can tell one type of physical environment from another by observing its landforms and its climate. Landform is a scientific word for different features for shapes found on Earth's surface. Deserts and mountains are two examples of landforms. Climate refers to the kind of weather a place has from year to year. The regions, the regions of the United States look unbel unbelievably different. You will find mountains in the west and plains in the Midwest. The southwest is very hot and dry all year round. The states is the northwest. Northeast can get very cold and snowy during the winter. The south can be warm. Where did you say that came from? The United States is rich in natural resources. The different regions of our country have different treasures in their soil, rocks, and waters. Let's look at a few states and their natural resources. Communities often develop where natural resources are found. Oil is one of the natural resources that attracted a lot of attention in the, in the early 19s. Oil is a fuel found oil is a fuel found under beneath the ground. Fuel provides us with heat, light and other forms of energy. Oil is used to make the gasoline that powers cars and other vehicles. Texas is famous for its oil. When large underground supplies of oil were found in Texas, its population grew quickly. People moved there to work in the, the oil fields. Idaho is a state in the Northwest. Much of its land is used for farming. Idaho is famous for its abundant potato crop. Its soil is good for growing wheat and trees. The state of Wisconsin is in our nation's midwest. This state has a lot of farmland, trees, and livestock. Livestock are farm animals, such as cows. Wisconsin has a lot of cows and is known for its dairy products, such as milk and cheese. Wisconsin also produces produces the most paper in our country. California, here I come. It was mentioned earlier 
that communities are often built in areas where natural resources are found. That is exactly what happened in 1848 when gold was found in California. Gold is a very valuable mineral. A mineral is a natural resource that has been, never been alive. The discovery of gold in California caused thousands of people to journey west and seek their fortunes. This big westward movement became known as the Gold Rush. Can you dig it? Gold is usually found buried in rock. Sometimes it is mixed with loose soil. Miners hunt for gold in the Old West by squirreling water from muddy streams in pans to separate the tiny gold flakes from the dirt. Later, people dug deep holes called mines in the earth to search for larger chunks of gold. A miner's job was to get the nugget or chunks of gold out of the mine so that it could be sold. Many people who took part in the gold rush wanted to find gold for themselves. Others followed the, the crown looking for different kinds of work. Fewer than 15,000 settlers lived in California before the gold rush. Between the discovery of gold in 1848 and the end of the gold rush in 1850, about 80,000 people moved there. Soon after, California became this country's 31st state. By 1858, the populations of California had grown to 300,000 people. Many of those people made their living by farming. Forests are unbelievable. Forests are one of our most precious natural resources. They provide homes for wildlife. They produce oxygen for us to breathe. They shade us from the sun's rays. The trees in forests are very important in the building industry too. Lumber comes from trees. It is good that it's cut into boards for building. Wood from trees is also used to make paper and furniture. That's a lovely tree you are wearing. What is the first thing you think of when you hear the word tree? Firewood, falling tree leaves, lumber at a construction site? Well, more than 5,000 different products are made from trees, and you might find some of them rather surprising. Many medicines from, come from trees. A fabric called rayon comes from trees too. Bowling balls, little helmets, hairspray, paint, tires, cuff drops, and gum are all made from trees. One of the greatest things about trees, though, is that we can replace the ones you cut down by planting new ones. In other words, they are renewable resources. If we are careful, trees would never disappear. Will our natural resources last forever? Oil, coal, and natural gas are fuels. We burn them to produce heat, electricity, and other forms of energy. All of the fuels are formed millions of years ago and are buried in the ground. Slow cooking underground. Oil, coal, and natural gas are formed underground and usually stay there until someone digs them up. Let's take a look at how oil forms. Coal and natural gas form instantly the same way. Oil takes a really long time to make. In fact, the oil we use million years ago, even before dinosaur room Earth. Back then, billions of tiny plants and animals were living in the salty waters of Earth's oceans. When these ocean creatures died and sank to the bottom of the water, they formed a muddy layer. Over time, the plant and the and animals' bodies are buried under more and more layers of mud. All of those layers created lots of pressure and heat in the ocean floor as the mud turned to rock. Those dead plants and animals got cooked and turned into thick, gooey soil. Water. We cannot live without it. Conserving our natural resources is a very important job. We already know that our oil supplies could disappear in another century or two. Our supply of underground water is decreasing. 
every time it rains or snows, water soaks into the ground to, to soil and cracks into the rock. We dig wells to get to this groundwater and use it for everything from drinking to cooking to watering crops. There is a problem though. Rainwater cannot soak into hard surfaces such as roads and parking lots. So it forms puddles on the pavement. The water cannot get through the pavement and get back in the ground, threatening our groundwater supplies. Unfortunately, oil, coal, and natural gas are not like trees. They are not renewable. Once we find and use all the oil, coal, and natural gas in the Earth's crust, they will be gone forever. We cannot plan new supplies of these fuels. That is why it is so important to conserve them. Glossary, climate, the kind of weather a place has from year to year. Communities, places where people live, work, and have fun together. Fuel, all resources that can be used to produce light, heat, or other forms of energy. Landform, a shape or part of the Earth's surface, such as a mountain or a desert. Mineral, a natural resource that has never been alive. Natural resources, useful materials that come from the Earth. Physical environment, a region, landforms, and climate. Region, a large land area that has special features.